All right. Well, I got the motor controller all put in place. Basically, took my battery out, ran it directly. Oh, come on, focus. Right there. Positive, negative battery. Uh, the green, black goes to the motors to each side here. Um, had to have the positive and negative for two controllers from the uh, receiver. Uh, the S1 there and the S2 control uh, each of the motors. So from this, you pull it back uh, right in the very center that one goes. If you push it to the side, then that one goes. Now if I pull it to the uh, to the middle position here, that one's going in reverse, and that one's going reverse. Now if I go forward to up to the side, I got that one going forward, and that one's going forward. So now pull it to the back. Now if I want to turn, I go to the opposite directions. Unlike before, I had no control of how fast it would spin. So now, I can barely touch the stick here. I can make it go slow. I push it further, and the faster it goes, and same thing, and the same thing for turning. This receiver is just on its own. It's receiving power directly from the battery. So before I had you know the battery in here, which I don't need anymore. So it's gonna eliminate all this mess here. So uh, definitely gonna make things a little bit easier. Um, the switch that I had in the uh, last video, yeah, this is not going to work. Uh, basically, it uh, was a one way switch, uh, it did not go forward or backwards. Um, I hit the stick here uh, for the, I'm going to use this one, keep it in place, uh, which is normally your throttle for your aircraft. Um, I was hoping that would bring the blade up, up and down, but. Um, pull it back, it turned it off, pushed it forward, um, it was full on, uh, no, no reverse, no forward at all, so, uh, back to the drawing board on that one, and, um, we're getting there.